Hello everyone, Lukos here and Chrono just asked me in my comments on my stream uh, to make a full tutorial on how to make non-grid playable scenery in Tutacoon 2 and that it's actually a really easy thing to do but it has some little tricks which I actually also haven't seen explained anywhere so I got them through other designers, I got them through Iben, thank you Iben but um, I might as well just explain it to you guys, I figured. So, um, let's just start from scratch. We open up a folder, easy peasy. We make uh, entities if I can type. I can't type, Christ. Entities. In the entity folder, we make an object folder. I'm really good at coding, as you can see. And then you make a scenery folder. Now, in the scenery folder, we of course make an AI folder. By the way, my PC is in Dutch, but the ID is the same, just make folders. Um, and we make a folder with a name of whatever. It's just a code name for your object. Everything is fine, really. But as the thing I'm coding right now will be for the Japanese building set, I'm going to do it. L chap because it's something no one else uses and it's just something which I will recognize and it's something which is easy you should not have spaces in there and anything just a word so L chap then we get the file I will put in the description as well which is just a standard scenery object file which we will rename into the code name for this Thing which will be uh, lchap underscore ball roof because it's the ball roof piece, the piece of wall in between roofs. <laughs> then we open it up in Notepad if you don't know how to do it. Open with Notepad <clears throat> and then we can start changing stuff. This is the base file of my plaster wall of my dark grey building set, I think. Yeah. So uh, the code name for that one was PL wall plaster wall, and for this it will be LChap underscore wall roof. So that's the first one we need to change to bind the type. Then in this part we also need to change it to exactly the same. Make sure you keep the space over here, important. Then we go a little bit down to the icon. Now the icon, in which folder is it? Well, if you go over here, you can see it's in the entities, object, scenery, and then LJAP. That is where all of, all of our files will be, which we should do right now. So we have an icon, um, which I'm going to rename right now. LJAP underscore wall roof. Was it roof wall or wall roof? Wall roof. Good. This is just JAP. LJAP. So that's the icon, which we cannot change because it's in entities, object, scenery. LJAP. Chap underscore ball roof icon DDS. That's the name of the icon. So that one is correct now. Then entity name, not really important actually. It's important if you want to give it names and stuff, but that's something I'm not going to bother right now in this tutorial because no one cares. Then the string is important. The string is once again just LCHAP underscore wall roof. The standard same code name as used before no space then uh, the fun stuff you can do a theme if you want um, this is the build except dark ray by me um, you can just remove it if you're not planning on having a big pack and you shouldn't if you don't know exactly how to do that stuff and I can do a tutorial on that in the future but it's not necessary for now so actually we're going to delete it. No, we're not going to delete it. 
I'm going to call it Altia because I believe I've made it already. Fame rack is for how many stars you need in challenge mode because no one cares, but zero is zero stars, ten is a half, twenty is one, up until a hundred where a hundred is five. So if you want to do that, be my guest. Superior will also we will not care about. UI sort is where in the UI it will sort, which is really useful. Um, all of my building sets are at Z set, so they are at the very end of the scenery tab, which is useful. And this will be at Z set Jap, Japanese. Then, the part which this tutorial is about, grid snap. Grid snap um, defines whether the object will snap to the grid or not. Easy, <laughs> which you wouldn't guess it because normally this isn't in the files because the game normally doesn't do non-grid snap stuff. So we put it to false and that's it actually. Uh, terrain flatten is also false because no one likes it when you place the object down and it flattens the entire terrain. Movable, very true, otherwise you can't move it after you place it. Auto footprint, I don't even know what it means and this we shouldn't bother with. Uh, C footprint, you can make it zero and then you have the triangle grid. So you can have either have just a one by one grid that the game uses or the triangles it uses inside of the stuff, like lampposts and stuff use those. I don't know why you would, especially if it's non-grid snap anyway. Then we move down to... yes. This only works if you have a BFB model, which you should. If you're going to make scenery anyway, you're going to use Blender probably, and you're going to make BFBs using uh, Hendrix's BFB scripts for Blender. Now, important, if we go back to here, we put our model in there, and the materials in there, which will automatically be made when you make the model, and the texture. Okay, so our model, the BFB file, the materials, and the texture. Now, this line uh, talks about what model the objects will use. It's an entities, objects, scenery, building sets. No, it's in LJAP and it's called LJAP underscore wall roof. Oh. And it is a .bfb, but don't put the .bfb behind it because then it will not work should have uppercase letters because that matters. So if I would do it like this because that's the name, it would not work. The game figures out it should be a model, a BFB file because it already sends it over here, model file, etc. So no .bfb. Then a neat little trick. Iben told me this string from shared to shared in between BF name binder and BF name binder um, with that we can easily change the texture, so if you are planning on making 20 walls, you can just have one wall model and just change the texture. Normally you would have 20 wall models with all of them different textures, but with this easy line of code you can just get rid of 19 useless um, files in your file and make it way more easy for the game to handle. So all we need to change over here is item material, the material of the item, which is in materials, is this one. So it's called LJAP underscore wood. Then image entities object, where is the, where is our texture? Well, it's in this folder. Again, so entities objects shared, no. Scenery slash LJAP. And it is the LJAP wood. LJAP underscore wood dot DDS. Here you do have to do dot DDS. Why? I don't know, but you have to. <laughs> then it works. And the layer is the base layer. And that's it. You can change the recycling cost if you want to, but I don't care. And the normal cost as well. Normal cost and recycling cost. So the cost you get when you remove it the amount of money you get back. Then we save it. 
and we are done. Then you pick any um, you pick any file you already have, any Zutekun file you already have. Just a random mod, pick one, rename it uh, Z underscore L Jap Rooftop. It can be any name, it doesn't have to be the same. Do you open that? You delete everything except for a folder which is not in there. So in this case, it can be the UI folder. It's just easier than messing about with having extra stuff. So you put the folder in there. Okay. Remove the UI folder, and now it's just a new Zutacoon file with only the stuff we just did. Okay. Now, um, that should be it. So if we copy it and go to our Zutacoon 2, then it should work. So we hop on into the game, open up the objects tab, which always you, which always takes five hours in my game. Okay, scenery, because it's in the scenery tab. Loading, loading, loading. Then go all the way to the back, or wherever you put it with your coding, and it should be around the object stuff. There it is. And it's nice and off-grid. Easy. If you have any questions, please do tell me. If you want any other tutorials, please do tell me, but I'm not really good at coding, so I only know how to do these basic objects. Thank you, and see you next time. Goodbye.